Generative design lets you design things that weren't possible to design before. So the convergence of cloud computing, new materials, advanced manufacturing, and these new generative design tools are opening a new world up for designers to think and explore designs that really couldn't be done before. You speak in the language of goals and constraints. Basically, you frame the problem in terms of what you want the function to be of a design and the computer generates objects to fulfill those designs. You get ideas out of left field as a designer where you're like, I would have never gone that direction. That's really interesting. I'm not sure if I even want to pursue it, but this is opening up my space of possibilities. The Hackrod project, so we just took an off-the-shelf race chassis and put 56 sensors on the tension points of the chassis. The Hackrod team drove that thing out in the desert under extreme conditions. From there, that data was analyzed and input into one of our generative design systems, Dreamcatcher, and a new chassis was grown. So this is one of the first times that data has been able to be gathered in the field on performance, fed back into the design to improve the design. So that's really a groundbreaking exploration. As these things become easier, they're gonna be more entrants in every market. Three kids in a dorm room can start a car company. And what does that mean to the traditional car manufacturers? It means that they've really got to be looking at how they can start to adopt this stuff today. The human brain can hold five or six variables at a time. The computer doesn't have that limit. So with generative design, what you're trying to do is put all these conflicting and dependent variables together, have the computer think about what are the optimal options and present those back to the user. What I really think is unique about the elbow chair is that we're considering the manufacturing in CNC. So rather than taking everything to an additive output, putting constraints in for CNC machinery, for milling, was an important part of just realizing a beautiful and functional design. And using wood as a material just had a beautiful aesthetic output. What are the goals and constraints? Well, there's some weight, there's some balance, there's uh, do you want the chairs to be able to stack? Letting the computer decide and give you hundreds of different options on that that fit your preference, including the materials that you intend to build, I think was just a great creative expression in, in furniture design.